Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky, and today we're going to be talking about Summer House Martha's Vineyard. So if you'd like to see more, then just stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I just decided that I wanted to review this show. I'm already watching it, so I was like, oh, I might as well review it. I'm not going to go back and review the first episode. I'm just going to start with episode two, but I'll include some of the things that happened from the first episode because it's like a continuation anyway. Beginning this episode, we're coming off the confrontation between Jasmine and Jordan. I don't know why I'm getting mean girl vibes from Jordan this season. Almost like she feels like she's the main character. Like everybody has to cater to her. She kind of was like that last season too now I think about it. The reason why Jordan claims she's been so distant is because of how Jasmine was acting the last time. They never quite mended things. And I just feel like Jordan just completely drifted away from Jasmine. When it just doesn't feel like Jasmine did anything major to push her away or to warrant ending that friendship and also if you go back and watch that season what she was going through with her husband which I'm so glad he's not on this season that's a breath of fresh air I do wish him the best over there I hope he doesn't get hurt I hope he comes back safely um they have a child together so I hope they are able to work it out but after seeing what she was going through she was trying to navigate having her husband there him treating her the way he was and still being able to, you know, fellowship with her friends. I feel like you could have given her a little bit of grace after watching that season, especially if that was your real friend. Maybe Jasmine thought they were a lot closer than what they actually were because it just doesn't make sense why you're just so easy to throw her away. And then on top of that, excluding her from trips and excluding her from different outings and things like that, like even though she's the one who introduced y'all to each other y'all leave her out like it's just eh, i ain't like that also at the end of last episode we had summer and alex sitting down and talking about their whole little situation shit you know with her blurting out you didn't even invite the person that you were inside of it, first of all i thought that was so crass like really girl that's the reason why he don't like you right there is because you taking secret pictures of him, sending it to other people. You're the type to bust out the fact that y'all were messing around with each other in front of everybody. You're giving stage five clinger. Like for real, you are. Now, at first I thought maybe the man was leading her on a little bit. He might be because Alex seems like that type. Like he'll give her like the girlfriend experience and then all of a sudden cut her off when he's tired. But when I heard she sent that picture, I was like, mm. You were doing a bit much. And then even when she was talking to him and saying like, well, I thought we had more love for each other than that. It's like, she wants to pretend like she knew it was a casual thing the whole time, but that is not the way you're treating the situation. You are you have a lot of passive aggressive animosity that you're letting out. And clearly you are much more deeply involved than you want to let on. And I wish you would just be honest about that because we all can see it. But I didn't like when he was talking to the men about it and Nick was trying to influence him to re-beat. That's the last thing he needs to do. Nick, you just need to shut up and mind your own relationship business that we going to get to. So then they end up having decade night. I feel like Noel was throwing this particular party everyone dressed up like they were from different eras and different decades and jasmine dressed up like a 50s housewife <laughs> and they made sure to point out the irony of her dressing up as a housewife because that's exactly how silas was treating her last season that that's her role in the household nick dressed up as arthur ash and it's crazy. When they pull that picture up, he looks exactly like Arthur Ashe. Like, they really could be twins. But I was very insulted and disappointed and gagged that these group of young people, we around the same age, didn't know who Arthur Ashe was. I thought y'all were supposed to be so uppity. Y'all ain't never been to the U.S. Open. I don't even know that much about tennis. But I knew exactly who Arthur Ashe was. Like... I was so disgusted when 
Brie was asking Siri who that was. I just, I couldn't even. Shanice didn't even try. She looked like that's something she wore the other day. Preston won because he was dressed up as a 90s thug, but it's like he claimed he was playing somebody from Juice. Who was he supposed to be from Juice? I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but I'm just like, okay, I guess I, I was with Nick. I feel like he should have won. He had the best outfit. So then later on, when everybody's getting more and more drunk, they ask who is the worst dresser. And I don't even think this question was directed towards Summer, but she was quick to say Shanice. Mind you, her and Shanice are supposed to be really good girlfriends. They're supposed to be really good friends. And so it came off very mean when she said that like and it, it, it quickly was trying to involve everybody like right right she's yeah and everybody agreed but i feel like the gag is majority of y'all can't dress I, I don't think nobody be looking bad but y'all just don't just be dressing like that for y'all to be saying she's just the worst dresser so when shanice found out she got really upset because they really did bust her out and you know she wasn't even in the room when they said it so she just walked into that and i know that had to be hurtful and um they really was trying to play it off like i know she really can't be upset about that i'm like that's me majority of y'all would be mad too she went off and was like y'all just mad because mine is real and y'all is fake and you know it kind of fell flat but she ran off upset and they didn't even really care they just carried on with their conversations except for brie she came up there to comfort her and um you know she was just telling her i can't believe that summer was the one that said that because she knows that Right now, I'm unemployed. She just recently lost her job, and she doesn't have any money to go shopping for new clothes. She just doesn't have it like the rest of them do right now. And, you know, so for her to know that and say that, that was even, with the context, that was even worse. Like, you was trying to hurt that girl. Noelle eventually came up and was basically like, don't let them win. You need to come back down and, you know, hang out. And um, I, I really do feel like Summer saw the way that the world responded to Shanice last season and the fact that she, you know, was outed to be a stalker or something like that. And so she looked at her as an easy target to bully. Because it's giving me, girl. It is. It is. And even when Shanice came down and kind of confronted her about it, she was just brushing off. Oh, I didn't think you were taking that serious. You could have talked to me about it. So then we see Amir and he got into it with his girlfriend over text. He did text her saying, uh, what should he eat? Very, It did seem like a random text, especially for you to be starting off with. Um, but she took it as like, well, did you mean to be texting somebody else? Why are you sending me something like that so random? And he immediately felt the need to run upstairs and FaceTime her. Is everything okay? And then from there, he throws Nick under the bus. Like, you know, that's just not my speed. Everybody's up there dancing and twerking. And Nick is just sitting there with his face all in their butt. And that's not even my style. Just like out of nowhere, unprovoked. Like, <laughs> Just a straight up snitch. The whole last episode, he kept talking about how his girlfriend would cut off his private parts if she ever found out he was cheating like he was saying that the whole episode like somebody was trying to flirt with him or something she ain't got nothing to worry about when nobody interested in you last season and the girl you was interested in wasn't giving you the time of day what makes you think they're gonna do that now i don't even think you like black women like that <laughs> it, it definitely not giving so i don't know it's getting a little scary too because the way he's talking about his girlfriend is making her seem very insecure and controlling. Like, he seems like he's scared of her or something. I don't know. Like, you're not making us feel like you have a healthy relationship by constantly saying that. Okay, so later we find out that Jordan has hereditary alopecia. And her hair has not been the same since she got a perm a while back. And she had a really bad break out in the front of her head and it's just like really like maybe like the first two inches of her hair is just like bald and it's slick and she said it's it's changed her because you know I can only imagine like especially for black women our hair is so um it's so it, it's put on a pedestal and it's policed and we feel the need to wear it a certain way in order to be 
accepted in society and even by our own people you know what i'm saying so i definitely have plenty of sympathy for her i feel bad for her that that's happening to her no one deserves that um but i do love that she's using this platform to spread awareness i feel like the wigs that she's been wearing so far um maybe could use a little bit more plucking you know what i'm saying maybe she could work with a stylist to help her make them look a little bit more natural so then we have jordan summer and preston all meeting up together to go to brunch the other people in the group they went to go work out so they're in the car and they're talking about nick being very flirtatious with the girls in the group well i'm gonna say with jordan and summer in particular that he's just being very flirtatious and handsy when he's drunk you know they're they're saying it's not in a sleazy nasty way they don't think he's being perverted but it's just making them uncomfortable especially since you have a girlfriend and i ain't gonna lie that would make me uncomfortable too especially because you have a girlfriend but just in general don't just be always having your hands all over me but i also think that's something that i would have told him up front i would have let him know not blaming them for me if i was uncomfortable with someone constantly touching on me i would have to let them know up front when they when they did it you know what i'm saying i have to tell them preston thinks that nick needs to break up with his girlfriend because he pretty much be acting single and be flirting and that's exactly what he was doing that was his whole controversy last season because when he first walked up in the house you're sliding in people's dms before y'all get there you're flirting, you're acting single, and then all of a sudden you want to pop out and say you have a girlfriend this whole time. Everybody's shocked and appalled and can't believe it because that's not how you move. Honestly, I can't even believe that girl's still with him. After you watched last season and saw how he was acting, oh yeah, my nail popped off. Where'd it go? I lost it. And then they start talking about the whole Shanice situation, and she had Jordan had the nerve to call Shanice theatrical after all your unprovoked blow-ups last season the way you got mad at amir and the other guys because they were attracted to you and you know loki was trying to compete for you and then you were one of the main people instigating for mariah to have to leave even though amir was the main one dead wrong in that situation i'm still mad about it so yeah you're very theatrical yourself you're one to talk so then Shanice, she's with the other people working out and she said that she really thinks that Summer is jealous and, you know, she felt that jealousy when they went on a trip together and she saw all the high profile men that Shanice was talking to and was wondering how she got access to those men. And Shanice was like, uh, look at me. Duh. <laughs> look at the material. I believe it could be some jealousy there as well, especially because of the situation she's in with Alex and him not even really wanting to claim her like that. They start asking her how Alex was in bed and she was just like, he's a good catcher in color, but he's not passionate. It's like, I felt like that was even lame and corny to even acknowledge. Alex, when they asked him, he didn't even answer the question. Noel was shocked to hear that Summer had slept with Alex because when it was all revealed at the table, she was too busy eating her crab legs, I guess, to hear what was going on. I don't know, y'all. I like Noel. I feel like she's a great addition, but I feel like she's a little animated. I feel like she puts on a little bit. Because I don't know. How did everybody else hear it and was shocked? Their jaw dropped? You didn't even look up to see why everybody was shocked? You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess it really doesn't matter in the scheme of things. But she was upset to find it out because, first of all, Summer was the one who brought her to Summer House. Second of all, Summer told her that there was nothing going on between her and Alex. They just hung out. She knew that Noelle thought Alex was cute and that's her type. And she still pushed her towards Alex. And it's like, Noelle feels a way that you didn't even tell me you messed around with him because what if we started talking that could have been very messy. So when they got back home, she ended up confronting Summer and summer said that it was just a convenient relationship and it doesn't hold any weight and noel was like i don't care i still don't want to get in the middle of that summer is acting one way in noel's face and in the confessional she's like going off and having an attitude because summer brought it up 
And it's like, first of all, you keep that same energy. Second of all, why are you all in your feelings? Like, the way you handled this whole situation was so weird. What you going through, Summer? Like, this this man really taking you through it. You really cannot handle being in close quarters with Alex. And it shows because you are, she didn't act half as messy as she is right now last season. Then all the men are together. And somehow the subject of how Nick acts around the women twerking comes up. And he, he tries to act like, yeah, I just sit there. And the guys are like, no, you definitely be looking. You definitely be all up in it. Don't act like you don't be enjoying what's happening around you. And um, then Preston brought up the fact that Summer and Jordan feel like that he gets a little handsy when he's drunk. He was like, yeah, not in a sleazy way, but more in an F-boy way. And the rest of the men, you know, they kind of confirmed that. Like, yeah, you, the way you move, you don't really move like someone that's in a relationship. And I'm glad they called him out on that. I love that they held him accountable because he somebody needed to tell him. But I love how he heard that complaint. He didn't get defensive. He didn't bristle up. He didn't get aggressive. He just went straight to the room with Summer and Jordan in there. They were laying down. He basically asked him straight up, like, do I make you feel uncomfortable? And I think it was Jordan. She was like, yeah, well, you get a little handsy sometimes. And it kind of left off there on a cliffhanger. I really hope this doesn't turn dark because I don't feel like anybody in this situation feels like he's doing anything like perverted or anything. But Nick, you do need to watch the way you touch on people. Everybody doesn't like to be touched. Um, And also you have a girlfriend. So it's just trifling with you all the way around, okay? So you just need to be checked in general but y'all let me know what y'all think about the show i feel like these first two episodes have been really good so far i feel like this house especially the men are a lot less aggressive with silas not there i hate to say it but he brought a lot of the toxic masculinity and also i saw a preview they were in talks of possibly bringing mariah back i totally feel like she deserves to come back it was totally unfair that she Got kicked out in the first place. Now, the other guy, I don't know. Y'all might could leave him where he was at because he was doing a bit much. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this review down below. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? I'd love to hear your opinion. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.